existential question. What is anyone here? Well, oh, I mean, like, well, anyway, it's fun, and yeah, you know what? Oh, 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 well, um, what are you doing here? You seem like you've been drinking the alcohol, Swerve. Yeah, so what? Well, doesn't alcohol just make you lazy? Come to think of it, when I'm busy being a panarchist, I never see you at my rallies and anti-government campaigns and bubble-making sessions. Well, first of all, you never see me at any of those rallies because I'm not an undercover cop, like you, trying to make a mess of things. Ooh. And I also don't approve of getting angry and uninformed people together trying to attack and protest everything. And second, yes, I have been drinking. And no, it doesn't make me lazy. Have the people you work with just waiting to get a drink at your bloody boring events anyway. Well, I never. Well, maybe we do drink a little, but what are you getting at here? Well, what I'm trying to get at is that alcohol is actually a perfect new way to motivate people. It gets them going, brings them together, and brings about an air of enjoyment. It's a very social thing, you know? Well, the thing is, it's also used to motivate people to do stupid things, which I'm pretty sure you're aware of. Well, I do dabble in occupying, so I think I see what you mean. <laughs> well, the thing is, people are very impressionable when they drink, and can get mixed into doing bullshit. Drinking keeps me good and angry at the cops in suits. I just pace myself so I don't get too drunk beforehand, or wait till after I'm doing something important to reward myself with a little drinky drink. Hmm, we should really try and advertise that. People love advertisements. In fact, here's a quick word from my friend, the most interesting man in the world. Hey, hey, hey wait, wait. What? He can't. Hey, wait, where did that TV come from? I don't even own a television or have electricity. Actually, I don't really have eyes and ears. I see I'm an earthworm and... When the ladies see him, they melt into bubbles. He's allowed to use the Constitution as a blunt ramp. He's the most interesting man in the world. Hello, friends. Do you want to impress? Books throwing at the Alas Mujeres? We'll drink those Equis. Nothing says I'm a sexy stud who's in the pro like a man with a beer in his hand. So pretty much have to say yes. Stay thirsty, my friends, and drink responsibly. <laughs> For the next 30 minutes, watch Springsteen, Nicky Reeves, brought to you by Coca-Cola, Nestle, BP, and so on and so forth. By ourselves, by ourselves, we are not responsible for anything you do, so we encourage you to do as much as you can without thinking about the consequences. What? What the hell was that? That's just... Uh, I can't... Bollocks! Complete bollocks! Well, if I had a chance to show them a thing or two, I, 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 I... Oh, well, why not? The stuff they sell is the same deliciousness that you're poisoning your organs with every night! Well, for starters, many of these drinks, especially those owned by companies like Coca-Cola, are made by exploited labor in South and Central America, and I just won't have it. And then they drag millions of people into alcoholism, sexism, and consumerism through those ads just to make money. <laughs> I think you have no fucking idea what you're saying. But man, that was great advertising. We should try using that stuff like that to bring all the kids together. And burn down a prison or something? Well, no, burn down was corporate bigwigs. But how did you know I wanted to burn something down? Just, just a guess. Oh, well, that would really be some hot advertisement. No, that's not right at all. Well, well, then what do you suggest we do? If it bothers you so much, and, what, what, and can't stop drinking, then what do you do? Simply put, mate, you just make your own alcohol. It's a good thing I started brewing some of my own beer after some hops started to grow out of the compost pile I live in, and I decided that I should try and make beer, so I looked up how to do it on the internet. Well, what if you don't have the internet? Well, you never heard of the library? Hmm. Sure. Well, don't worry about it. So, anyway, after visiting the library and using the internet to my advantage, I made a quick stop to the old D-Mart. 
and go make some ingredients. Don't be afraid to get some yeast sent towards me, a bucket, and just four months after buying beer, I can officially say I don't need a boy anymore for those wankers, period. I got beer, cider, wine, etc., etc. Well, that sounds like a lot of words. Well, that's because it is, but it isn't. It's just your idea of trying to live 100% on your own. It's hard but to accomplish. That is just more work than not doing anything at all. It's quite beautiful. Rock music to my ears. Hmm, I can hear anything. But I'm also not sure if you're going to buy some beer. Never mind. This might make it easier for you to understand. But in truth, they're all just have learned sons and daughters. So I ain't paying beer anymore. Just a house of public campaign. Just let me do a war. To you and me. I can't pay. Just a house of violent product. Just a house of present pain. Our woman due to hate and liberation But instead we break the cycle that only a fascination I might be an F1, only this is a human class But I refuse to find to this product that helps separate class and general But it promotes being self-sustainable And more reliant on some big business Who will just find a way to fuck you up over and over again But not only that, but brewing your own DIY bit Helps promote gardening and only that being more self-sustainable And that's without having to give up a luxury which is alcohol, but in which case it is not because it is an art form. Yeah, we'll see you here really good for free. Yeah, well, exactly.